one of the biggest disciplines in case you're not aware of this is shooting you can imagine how many different types of shooting there is and to tell me more about shooting in western cape and uh, cape town and the other district structures is johan de beer and uh, johan of course um, is intimately involved in shooting in uh, the western cape and in south africa and it's great to be chatting with him uh johan hi jp everything is fine no problems how are you doing Yes, no, we're uh, we're hanging in there, and we we carry on doing the the best that that we can under these uh, uh, conditions. And I'm I'm probably sure. I mean, I'm sure it's the same for for you guys and your athletes, uh, your shooting athletes. Yes, it's quite uh, challenging times for shooting. It's a bit different from other sports where, although you can't participate and you can't go to the facilities to 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 do your sport, shooting is a bit different in that we can only do our sport on shooting ranges. Yeah. And all yeah. shooting ranges closes or close, there's not really much that we can do other than to try and stay fit. I can't really much use my rifle in my passage. I think that will cause a bit of problem. So we, <laughs> from that side on, shooting is stuck. We, we can't do anything else. But, I mean, there's stuff you can do. You can keep your maintenance up. You can look at your equipment. You can make sure that all stuff you don't get to, you can do now. But you can only do so much in all this time we have. So how big is shooting in South Africa? Yeah, it's, it's, it's quite big. Uh, when we talk about shooting, we of course talk about target shooting only, not any other type of shooting. We are affiliated to the South African Sports Shooting Confederation. At this stage, there's, there's a bit of a, a clean up with them as well to comply with the sports and recreation plan and to get all the structures up in the different provinces because western province is the only one really or western cape mm. where we're moving along swiftly there is at this stage it looks like 21 official shooting disciplines wow that's a and lot of each, that's a lot of shooting disciplines <laughs> that, is, that is crazy and each one has got its own discipline its own federation yeah, doing its yeah, own yeah. Thing. so what are we talking about here explain it to me like someone who's never never done the sport when when i when you talk about a sports discipline what are what are we practically seeing is it someone with a long rifle a short rifle a yeah. mini rifle <laughs> just to give you some some of the disciplines you where the school children especially are involved you can start with with air rifle and right. air pistol that is south african rifle association then you get busily shooting where guys shoot with 303s and 762s and uh, 308 rifles from 300 up to 900 meters. That is a huge worldwide competition. Then you get, for example, field target shooting where the guys shoot at paper targets of animals out in the field at different distances. You get bench race shooting where your rifle is rested on a table and you shoot extremely small groups yes yes basically all the shots go through one hole then you get shotgun where the guys are doing ski shooting trap shooting which is one of the big olympic sports yeah yeah, yeah. various uh, point two two disciplines and and then handgun is especially quite big so there's quite a few of those sports that are actually olympic sports uh, Olympic is a problem because the Olympics is only the, the point two two where you have your point two two rifle event as well as your pistol event. Yeah. yeah. There's unfortunately a big push that they're trying to to take that yeah. away and you yeah. do some of the shooting, but we but won't go to that. Target shooting is an Olympic uh, discipline. It is an Olympic. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Africa has, has has had representation before and they did quite well. And then on a on a on I mean outside of the Olympic space, I mean a number of your codes also compete compete on at, at, at regularly on at world championships yes most of those disciplines that i mentioned all of them have uh, world championships on a regular basis black powder for example has got it every second year alternatively long range short range basley has got it all every fourth year which is the big palmer match uh, bench race for example has got it regularly they have uh, wonder how uh, the, yeah. the bidding to host it next year year in in cape town depending of course that everything can still happen yeah. and especially as i said handgun events are quite big they they have various world championships as well how does one get involved i mean how do you if you know when we speak to normal athletes out there they will look at the different sports that they enjoy doing some will enjoy doing athletics some will join squash some will play chess how do you choose the sports discipline in the shoot code that that you like to do um 
Look, I mean, as I say, in, variety. in the old days, the schools all hosted point two two uh, the as a as a school discipline. Yeah. But with the new firearms act, of course, they took away all the point two twos from the schools. So some of the schools are doing it now in air gun and air pistol. Yeah. Which is is it's entry level for people which you can do without having licenses. So that's why they had to revert to to air guns. Okay. Is paintball shooting a discipline? Yes, paintball shooting really? is. Really? Does that fit in? Where does that fit in? Does that fit uh, in under the social bracket or? It's <laughs> no, no, it's it, it's quite competitive. Make no mistake. That is right. one of the codes that's accepted at Sasko. Yes. So that's fascinating. I mean, there's so much that we we have to learn still about all these yes. different sport codes, and of course. You've got, uh, is it, I mean, I, I'm assuming that some of those codes must be quite expensive and then others entry level, a little bit more easier to get involved in. Look, it's unfortunately a very expensive sport. And, and the problem with the licensing, which you can understand, anybody can't just walk up and, and handle a firearm, Yeah. is that before you can buy any firearm, you have to go through the competition training. You have to get all your, your licenses from the police before you can even own a firearm. So it's difficult in the sense that you cannot start doing the sport before you have your own equipment. Yeah. But that's where, where, where most of our, our clubs at club level and provinces come in. We welcome any newcomer and we let them use our equipment. Especially in, in black powder, we have open days where we let people shoot with our equipment, see if they like it. If they like it, we take them under our fold. And then we take them through, through the process and help them to acquire the equipment. But yes, it is quite expensive. A lot of them is not that expensive. For example, 0 0.22 is a lot cheaper than example 308 or bench race or anything like that. Shotgun as well. You do shoot quite a lot of rounds and you have to pay for your clays. That is quite expensive. But like air rifle, as I say, you can with a very entry level uh, air pistol or air rifle, you can compete absolutely very competitive with very cheap getting past. And it sounds to me like you guys have created an environment that is welcoming for people to knock on your door and say, we'd like to join your structures. Tell us where to go. Teach us. Yes. Uh, some of the disciplines, uh, it's, but it, it's, the, the attitude is standing quite a lot. Because of the expensive equipment, they won't let you near, your, your, let you near the equipment. Sure, sure. Yeah. But, but a lot of the, of the disciplines, for example, air rifle, black powder, even Bisley, they will welcome any newcomer. They will assist him. They will let him shoot with his with his equipment and get him used to it before he makes a decision. Yes, yes. And of course, you guys will guide them all the way through on safety and regulations and the law of, of shooting. That That is unfortunately where we're very strict on. We will not allow anybody to do it unless he's gone through the competency assistance yeah. shooters. And then if he wants to acquire the equipment, he needs to do the, the training through accredited trainers. And only once he's got that certificate, he can apply for a license or a firearm. No, that's fantastic. And if folks want to, of course, find out more about uh, shooting in the Western Cape, they can simply go and do a search on Facebook as we have. Yes, search yes. On shooting yes. Quite, Western... a few, quite a few of the disciplines has got their own uh, websites. They've got their own Facebook pages, especially yeah. Facebook. It's quite active. So if they should uh, search for any of those, they'll find us. If they're looking for the... The new structure that has been formed to, to, to combine all the sporting disciplines, all the shooting disciplines in the Western Cape, as is required from Sascock down, uh, that is the Western Cape Sport Shooting Confederation. That is up and running, and we are being affiliated. We've already been affiliated to Cape Town Sports Council. Eden is up and running. We're working on the other districts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then, of course, we have applied for provisional affiliation to the Western Cape Sports Shooting Confederation. No, well, that's fantastic because I think uh, people, of course, want to know that you, especially with a sport like yourself, they need to know that you're a legitimate structure with yeah. proper coaches and proper uh, structures in, 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 in place. Uh, and, and, of course, those are they, what you've just explained is the, the regulatory structure around it. So that's great to hear that. Yeah. Johan, I think we're going to leave it at that. Um, uh, I think we're going to have to get some of your athletes back on the show so we can find out just how fantastic they're doing because we know that you've had a lot of success at, at a national level as Western Cape athletes, but also at an international level. So we look forward to catching up with you and um, some of your athletes again shortly. 
Well, it's a great pleasure, JP, and thanks for the opportunity. And as we said before, a few of us has been there, and sport shooting, especially on the world level, is doing exceptionally well. Yeah, yeah. So we would to come back and, and, and talk about it. We're going to brag. We're going to brag about all your athletes, all your champions. Thank you very much. That's a pleasure. There we go, folks. Uh, Johan de Beer, of course, uh, there with uh, Western Cape Shooting. Uh, fantastic stuff. And it's so good to know that these guys don't play games. They are very well organized, very structured. The regulations are in place.